Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Benny Resendez, a co-producer here for the Republican Party of Bear County, and today we have Shelby Sanders. Thank you so much for being here, Shelby. Definitely. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. So, um, Shelby, you, I want to congratulate you. You just became a delegate for the Republican Party of Texas. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, and you're only, you're, you're like senior in college or something? Yes. So. Mm -hmm. I didn't know till recently that you could become a delegate at such a young age. So right. what, what are the steps in becoming a delegate? Definitely. So I didn't know either. Uh, the past few months I've been learning a lot about how the um, local government works and how we as young people can be involved. That started with uh, learning about precinct chairs. If you haven't learned about precinct chairs, they're basically a volunteer elected position where you reside over your surrounding community and you engage them with voter information for the Republican Party. So that's where it started. I uh, ran an election this past March and became precinct chair for 2108, that's where I live. And then it's there at the precinct convention, convention which was March 3rd, where I became a delegate for the Senate convention, convention. So basically you fill out a piece of paper, they verify your voting status, that you voted Republican in the last election, um, and you get voted on there, you move on to the Senate. At the Senate uh, convention, it's pretty much the same thing. You fill out that same form or piece of paper requesting to be a delegate for your uh, congressional district, so it's per 2023, 20, 28, all the yeah. different congressional districts. Um, and then at your Senate convention, that's where you are accepted and voted on. And uh, we unfortunately didn't have uh, too many delegates, too many requests. So everybody was able to be a delegate, which is great, but of course we want more delegates. We exactly. kind of want to be able to like not not fight, but just kind of like wrestle for that spot, mm -hmm. which we didn't have to do this year, it's okay, but the goal for next election uh, cycle would definitely be to have more than enough delegates. Uh, and then you go into alternative delegates. Exactly, no, yes, please, next election cycle, we need more delegates. We need more delegates, definitely. So Shelby, you're, I believe, senior in college or about to be. So a lot of people I have from many experiences are afraid to show their political beliefs with their friends, even with their teachers, because they're conservative. Right. How has your experience been at university sharing your beliefs, your political beliefs with people? Yes, it's definitely been interesting. Um, I go to UTSA. It is, I'm not going to be afraid to say, it's a more liberal school. Uh, I think it stems from UT, so that may play a big part of it. Or even San Antonio has a lot of blue, and mm -hmm. that leads into professors. Um, it's been interesting, I'm not going to lie. It was more of a closet Republican a few months ago, because you it's just not popular. Um, but I think lately I've been, we've all been seeing so much hate and corruption in the world, and we're honestly being attacked by the other side. Um, so we're not really in a position to remain silent anymore. Um, I think I've had a more positive experience of being a Republican in, in school because I've surrounded myself with people who are okay to hear other people's opinions, which I think is rare. Um, so I've just learned to be able to have conversations with people who think differently than you and still be able to sit down and come up with a common agreement and share your truth which for us is the party platform of the Republican. Yes, definitely, and I, I agree with you. Um, at my school, I'm very, uh, I'm kind of in the mix, you know, kind of open, right. I feel comfortable, mm -hmm. but there's more that makes us united than separates us, you know? Mm -hmm. We just need to have open dialogue, not just with different types of Republicans, but also with Democrats and Libertarians, even people in the Green Party, because yes. you're gonna find a similarity there eventually, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. So you make a very valid point there. And also, so, what issues or what led you to become, to say to yourself, I'm a Republican? Mm -hmm. I think um, mainly it is my faith. I'm a Christian. Um, I believe in God first and foremost. That's my personal platform for life. Uh, so, unfortunately, with other sides of parties, for example, um, the left or socialism, you don't get a lot of Jesus in there. Um, and I think why there's so much hatred and corruption in the world is because so many people don't know Jesus. Um, 
so that's my that's my main thing. That's gonna be my mantra for everything I do in life. Is uh, he's he's my party platform. Yeah, amen to that. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, no, um, and I think from whether I have friends who are Jewish or atheist, yes. even Muslim, mm -hmm. and they all agree. Yeah, Jesus, although we may not believe in him as the Messiah, but he's a great guy. His mm -hmm. message of love. I think we can all unite around. Definitely. So I definitely agree with you there. Well, thank you so much, Shelby, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to have this talk with us. Yeah, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Please click on the like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.